Hello and welcome back to Necropon Gaming. Hey guys, as of writing the script, there's 20 hours left of round one in the event. So after your first try, you can have two more entry tickets and you can also have a free per day. So you should be able to go in again right now for free if you've already used up your tickets yesterday. Don't give up yet, keep on trying. If you're new here, I'll link my event training guide video here and also in the info below if you wanna learn more. Today, I really want to show off the last runs that I just had that were pretty successful so you can see a benchmark of skills or stats that you might need in order to succeed in the event in Open League. I'll also talk about some learnings I've had so far and hope that will be able to help you as well. Before we start, there was a mistake in my last video I want to point out by viewer Alejandro. Vodka does not have Tokyo Race Course as an innate skill and that is correct. Thank you so much for pointing this out. And of course, I'm human and I make mistakes as well. So thank you so much everyone for working together with me. While YouTube doesn't let me update my videos, I have updated the description and comments for this correction. So if you have any feedback, of course, never hesitate to let me know as well so everyone else can also know this in the corrections. So first of all, back to this video. My first learning is that grade league is for payers or people that are extremely lucky. Everyone there has A plus rank and all their cards, all their SSR cards are limit broken completely and they have impressive stats all around. I truly felt like it was impossible for me to win if I didn't spend more money on this game. It was pretty demoralizing to keep losing over and over again. Next time, I will definitely only participate in open league. Luckily, my partner still had their account, but this account isn't actually maintained. Literally, it was like a rank 17. So there's not a lot of characters or cards in it. I had to make a few new builds last night just to attend Open League. I'm going to put my races on the left side over here so you can spectate them while I kind of talk about them with visuals on the right side. These builds aren't perfect since I've only been able to build them in the last 24 hours or so, but hopefully they can help you get an idea of what to do and definitely things not to do. So when it comes to stats, I can confidently say that for open league, you should get at least 650 stamina and one gold recovery skill if you don't want to start falling behind. 700 would probably be a pretty comfortable spot. For speed and power, try to get at least 700 in your main stat depending on your strategy. But definitely the more the better. Intelligence is also a big factor this time, so try to get 400 or more so they can actually fire off your skills. Because you can only do this event a handful of times, let's try to mitigate those risks. Lastly, it really helps, but very, very luck based if you can get one or more of your related aptitudes to S via inheritance, so like turf or medium distance or your chosen strategy, this one will help so much if you can get it to S. I managed to squeeze out a 4 out of 5 wins tonight on my second attempt and has been accepted into group A for round 2. I'll probably try this again on my last ticket and the free entry today so I'll have two more tries. To start, I'm using these three characters, Narita Taishin, Goldship, and Oguri Cap. Narita Taishin and Oguri Cap are really the racers here, while Goldship really couldn't get her stats up in time, so she's just holding a leader debuff right now. I think it's a great idea to have a person to just hold debuffs or have other characters hold debuffs to help out the team. We also had this comment as a tip as well, so thank you so much for that. Debuffs are the skills with the red icons. I will put a few examples up here. Some really popular characters I've seen used for this event so far are Agnes Tachyon, Symboli Rudolph, Mihono Bourbon, and Silent Suzuka. Some other ones that are pretty popular are also like Goldship, Mejiro McQueen, and Tokai Teo. So I think having specifically the leader debuff is a good start if you had to choose one. Before you start a race, there's some pretty cool UI stuff in here where you can see other Uma Musumes on this course in this magazine icon. In here, they spotlight some of the characters and some pretend interview articles. The last page is where you can see how the other players you're playing against has performed so far. Not that you can do that much with this information at this point, but I think it's a really neat touch to see this kind of thing in here. Feels really much like a real derby race. Okay, let's crack open the builds I was able to make so far. Starting with Narita Taishin. Like I've mentioned before, this is a very young account, so none of the cards are even limit broken and she's using just two rare cards here, so there's a lot of room for improvement. The thing that really stands out here for Narita is the S aptitude for Turf. That really helps her chances at winning. She has 653 stamina and hasn't had any trouble losing steam in races so far. Her speed and power are both pretty high, with power being prioritized because she uses Chaser strategy. 
and that amount of both has been doing her pretty well. Some of the races got pretty close, so I think the more the better, obviously. Narita Taishin fired off her unique skill in almost every round, so the 433 intelligence seems to be a good spot for her to be in. I'll probably try to go for 450 next time if I can. Now, let's take a look at her skills. Her nemesis skill is only at level 2. I had some trouble getting this to level up in this build, but the unique skill still performed very beautifully. Additionally, she has special weeks a shooting star that she uses very often. She has one skill that isn't very helpful for this race, the Hanshin Race Course skill, but the rest of them are pretty great. She has one gold recovery skill, this one is Arc Maestro. She also has a bunch of straight speed skills that is great for Tokyo Race Course. She also has her Lone Wolf skill that helps her if there's not another character on the field that also has this skill. Overall, Narita Taishin performed very well in my opinion and was able to secure two victories. Next we have Oguri Cap. She didn't manage to get any aptitudes to S, which I think would have made her a force to be reckoned with. She's running three of my SSR cards and one very powerful Super Creek from a friend. I am very grateful for that. Oguri Cap's stamina is on the short side here at 581 and she does lose some steam in some of the races. Luckily, she's able to recover with her unique skill to sprint like the wind at the end, but she would have been much more stable with more stamina, especially at the recommended 650 or more. Her speed and power are both very solid, sitting at over 700, where it prioritizes speed because she runs as a betweener. Unfortunately, at 386, the intelligence was lacking and she didn't always fire off her unique skill, so I definitely recommend at least 400. Let's also take a look at her skills. Her unique skill is at level 4, so it's pretty good. It allows her to break through and sprint at the end, which is very useful as a betweener. But oh boy, is this a nail biter to watch. It comes in so late in the race. She also comes with so many great skills for this race. She has Blue Rose Tracer here, which is Rice Shower's unique skill to break away on the last straight to increase speed. We also have Core Distance, Good Condition Turf, and Sunny Day. We also have Arc Maestro here as our gold recovery skill and three speed skills to push her through. All in all, I'm really happy with the skill set that she was able to get and I think it made a huge difference in securing her victories since she still lacks in stamina in general. Lastly, this one is my gold ship. Though she pretty much has the best cards out of all three characters, her stats are the worst. I'll definitely be trying to make a character to replace this gold ship in the next entry, maybe just another gold ship. But for now, this one is an example of what not to do. She was not able to get even close to any of the victories on this build. She definitely has enough stamina, but she doesn't have enough speed to get through to the front even after firing off her unique skill. So I really do recommend having 600 to 700 of the secondary stat, depending on your chosen strategy. Let's also take a look at her skills here. We have a lot of random things in here because she couldn't secure a lot of the good skills on her run. Oguri Cap's unique skill is here. We also have Super Creek's unique skill that I'm using as a substitute of a gold recovery skill, but I'm not sure it's really working. The event related skills that were used were Good Condition Turf, Like the Wind, and Mountain Climber. But by the end of her training session, I started to feel like she already wasn't going to be a top racer, so I opted to give her a debuff instead to support the rest of the team. This one debuffs the stamina of leader racers in the middle leg, which is actually very useful for some of my runs. Next time, I might have her hold more of these if I can, and don't really grab the derangement skill here like I did on accident, it only works if your racer is a leader. Also, hopefully as you make more builds, you'll come out with characters that actually allow new racers to inherit a useful set of skills for the race. So for example here, Oguri Cap has good condition turf and sunny days, and then this Narita Taishin has corner recovery and straight excel. So when you make both of them as your parents, this new racer will now have a chance to get these skills later in the training session. As usual, thank you so much for watching and I truly truly appreciate all of your support. Please consider to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you here to join our little Uma Musume family on YouTube. I tried to get this video out as soon as possible to you guys, but as usual, please let me know if there are any feedback, and I'll make sure to have corrections listed and pinned to the comments below if there are any. I will be gone for the next few days because I just got my second dose of COVID vaccine today, and here this one really knocks you out for like two to three days, so I hope I'll see you in a few days. Good luck in the event and I hope to see all of you in the final round. Happy racing!